back at Lies RC here, back here at the man cave again. We're going to be putting together the Hawkwolf 190 six cell 190A by E flight. Instructions say, which are folded when you get them, which is a huge gripe of mine and Brian Phillips, and I have to agree, when the mold, this mold is folded up, it's hard to keep it flat on your workbench. Okay, that's my only gripe. Everything else is great. The entire model, there's no glue involved, okay? And if I, I'm sorry if I keep looking away, I look at the TV to see how the camera's doing. But anyways, the entire model is, is, can be put together with a two millimeter hex drive. And we're gonna start out, instructions say the first thing we do is put on the tail feathers or the elevator, okay? Or the horizontal stabilizer. Now, your rudder is already hooked up for you, okay? The linkage, the ball linkage, is on this side. So obviously, I'm going to put this side on where the ball link, is, uh, ball link is. So I'm going to take this provided spar. I'm going to find, you see a hole right here. I'm going to slide that through. Okay. Slide right in there. Take your other side. Find your spar, slide that through. Don't even have to, sometimes you have to pinch your, your hinges and stuff just to make them, but that's not the case here. You know, slides together. Now you got these two 10 millimeter hex drive screw, one on either side. It's going to go into, you'll see there's an obvious hole here, it's countersunk. Okay. And then it's just going to drive in there. You're going metal screw into a metal housing there, which is exactly, and it, and it sinks in. Just get it all the way down. Has a natural stopping point, stop right there. You're going to, you only get two of these, so don't lose them, okay? You do get an extra wing bolt, just so you know. And it takes four of those. So that's the next, next thing, I believe, is put the wing on next. Might have to fiddle with it just a little bit to make sure it lines up right. And wouldn't you know it, that's not wanting to. This is just a common thing. Don't let that bother you or put you off. Okay. Go at an angle, a better angle here, where I can. Th but these are things that I discover. You'll discover them too. There we go. There. Once it finds its teeth, it's very obvious. Okay. And like I say, if you go down there all the way in, you think you're going too tight, but then you'll feel that natural stopping point and stop. Stop right there. Don't go any further. Natural stopping point is where you want it. Now, those are in there. Okay? Um, not going to hook up the tail of uh, the elevator until I bind the model. And I'll make sure my servo is neutral. Then when I know that my servo is neutral, then I'll just pop that ball link on there. For building purposes, there's no need to do that. No need to show that. All you would do is you bind up your model make sure all your servos are centered and then like and if you see that this linkage or this push rod is too far out or too far in all you do is just screw it in or unscrew it just depending and holding your what you can do be careful get some really good painters tape you know or hold it level and then and then pop that on there and you're going to either like I said, you're going to screw your clevis in in or out to where it'll connect naturally and your surface is level with your servo being neutral, and that's your neutral trim. Okay, and that's how you do that. Now the next step will be putting on the wing, which couldn't be simpler. The, the inner wing core 
and it's your longest screws, you get five of them, or five, so you get one extra. Okay, so let's, and that's this great big, probably one of the heaviest pieces of the model, right here. Okay, that's going to just sit on there. Should line up and pops right into place. There's no issue. It's actually its own weight settled itself down in there. Okay? So you're going to take these four screws. Very obvious where they go. This is a very easy model to put together. Okay? We were, we're over 90 percent. We're over 7% uh, done already. Believe it or not. And anytime you're adjoining a wing like this, if you ever put tires on a car, put a wheel on a car, you know, you kind of crisscross pattern when you tighten it down, do the same thing with uh, putting on wings or anything like where you've got multiple bolt, bolt patterns like that. I mean, maybe it's not necessary, but it's how I like to do things. It's what I was raised doing, and it, it's kind of... The idea is that you're you're seating the object evenly. You'll feel the natural stopping points. Don't push it beyond it. Okay. If you keep an eye on this seam here, it'll get less and less distinct. I mean, it does have a, a, an obvious point. Okay. Put it down nice and tight. And maybe just pull, get it nice and tight and then maybe off just a hair. Just off just a hair. That gives, and that wing, that's on there. Okay, now see here's where my folded manual I don't like. Okay, now we will turn, well, see now this is backwards. They want you to put the guns on with it right side up and then flip it back and put your tank on well let's just go ahead and skip that step put our tank on and you can either put this on as a cover or go ahead and put the tank on I'm going to go ahead and just put the tank on okay. and that couldn't be simpler it slides back the air is pushing it back the air is not going to push it forward Okay. Okay. And does it say anything about putting the outer wings on? I guess it just assumes that you're going to. Um, align the hands free servo connector. Uh, secure the wing to position using two millimeter hex drives, all four of them, and disassemble in reverse order. Okay, now we put the guns on. All the guns go, they all get screwed into place, okay? You've got two long, straight looking, and then you got two that have like a, I guess a, an end or whatever on them. And the ones with a bulky end go, just screw into place, Closest in, closest into the engine, or to the fuselage, however we want to say it. They just screw right in. Let me, uh, let me turn this around and show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to grab a hold of it, I'll try not to hit everything. But you see that gun there? Here's this hole here. It's literally just, just screws in, you know? That could not be any easier. And that way, if you've ever transported a, a 190, these guns get in the way when you try to pick it up and handle it. So the fact that I can just screw them on and screw them off is awesome. The longer ones, you'll see the, the hole here. And they actually screw down into a housing that holds that whole thing straight. So that I really appreciate that. This is just a little touch that E-Flight or the manufacturers have done 
that. It's just, well, of course, this plane is 550 bucks. So you can see now they're in there. I mean, yeah, you couldn't break them, you know, they're, they're, um, but honestly, come on, that's pretty simple. All right, now we'll turn the mob over, set it on, try not to mess up the tank there. I'm going to show you. I did this in the in the unboxing video, um, but these. Let me just show you the end of the fuselage here. I'm mean, the end of the wing. You can see your right there by my arm. You'll see the the hole the spar goes into. On the outer ends of the of the wing half, you'll see the white uh, snap in place, and then on the inside. Of the back edge you'll see that quick connect and that's going to control your light and your aileron okay see the corresponding stuff on the wing you just line up your fuse you line up your uh, spar this tongue and grooves in fold your plane once you get it into, into place there fold your plane and you'll feel it nice and tight and that that is not going to come out that is on there okay so now I can turn same thing finding my spar okay and to show you what I mean let me get you a little closer up view if you look see there's a edge there. There's an edge there, how that just kind of fits together like a piece of a puzzle. Okay. All right. There, that's in there. That is in there. Okay. Now, we can take a model, put the top on. This is plastic, by the way. That's on there. All right. Let's take the model. We're going to set it off the side for just a moment. Okay. While we work. Oh. Oh, I got, okay. Now we'll put that off the side. But long enough for me to pick her up. Sticker on the stand here. Okay. Sorry, I got my back to you. Okay. Now we can turn. Um, what you could do with this guard, you could take it and store it inside the fuselage. Put a piece of Velcro or something on there, or whatever. Whatever you can do. Uh, the next part of the build is actually the most tedious part, and. Uh, that's going to be putting the prop together. And like I said, two millimeter hex drive. There's an antenna, which I'm not really sure. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a light green antenna to match the, uh, and it screws in just like the guns all the way out here. As you can see it, it screws in out there. That is just such a nice touch, such a nice touch. All right, now, the prop, okay? You got your prop, you got your spinner, okay? All these blades are going to just key in, okay? Now key in the countersunk part there goes down, put your screws through there, you can see how they fit flush in there, okay, that goes through there, okay, see, and then that goes, hooks onto the plate in the back, and those actually screw into that metal plate, so if you get one in place, 
then everything else will should fall into place also. Yeah, see? Now this is one area, you got metal into metal and there's some very hard plastic in between. This is where you want to tighten it down. Well, you know, you're not going to make it so tight, strip it, but I don't want that to be nice and tight. That's not coming off of there, okay? And now this will hold the everything else in place too. They only go on one way. They go the way where your screws sink in evenly, and they put your even, put just put your finger on it, and then they go in like that, and they should pop right back up again when they hit that metal. Okay, and then just screw them bad boys in there. This would probably be a good time. If you wanted to maybe put a drop of CA or Loctite in there, I may go back and do that. Um, but don't do it on the plastic prop. Um, actually, no, I, don't, I, I would do some CA. I wouldn't do any Loctite because Loctite, metal on metal and only metal touches, Loctite is fine. But when you do, uh, if there's some plastic involved, uh, Loctite will eat up plastic. Okay, after all said and done, you get one screw left, one extra wing bolt. Okay? And like I said, I'm sorry about my voice. It's a little weak, so I haven't been feeling that well. Okay, and you know what? I don't think that. No, that bolt is not extra. That bolt is what holds the spinner on. So you get no extra bolts. So, magnetic tray. When you're putting your plane together, have a little magnetic tray. And the advantage of that is, yes, it holds all your bolts and everything, your bolts to bolts to bolts, but the advantage of that is um, if you drop your bolts on the floor, you can drag and you can't really see them, or if your eyesight's not as good, it's like my line, you know? You can drag your tray around and it'll pick it all up. That way you won't see it. Now, this is where, okay, we're going to take, see the nut here? Take the big nut off. So, big nut. And you got a back plate. Okay. Yes. Okay. You're going to take your prop. You're going to slide it on. And there's a, there's an octagon shape here, octagon shape here. You'll feel that, that should, yeah, it just fit, fits right on there. You're gonna take this back, backing plate, or just a big beveled washer, basically. Put that on there. And you know you got your props on, right? If you stand to the left of the fuselage, and you look at your prop and the bladed, the the inside of the blade is towards the plane, each one. You know it's right because that's how the blade's going to turn, pushing air backwards. Okay? This is the part where you're going to have a little bit of energy expelled here. Okay? Which I don't have much of right now. Okay. A nice big wrench would be nice, but I got these flatheads that has served well over the years and that's not coming off okay got that spinner fits right on there um, okay I will go ahead and put your feel the screw get your well hold on this is where it's nice to have these magnetic tools at your disposal. Makes life so much easier. Okay, fit that on there. It's only going to fit one way. And there you go. Come on, baby.
put your foot on your stand. Okay. Is that not beautiful? If you look at that too long, you'll get sick though. All right, well that's the basic build of the um, Pop Wolf 190, 1.5 liter. That is one beautiful airplane. Let me get her bound up and get a battery in her so that you can see how she looks with all her lights and all her glory and everything working. And um, then we'll go over, I'll be following the manual precisely on the setup. So if you buy this plane, you're going to go to this page here for your binding process. I'm going to bind where I do have safe if I want it. I mean, it's a $550 plane. I'll swallow my pride and keep safe just in case I get in trouble. And if that saves my plane and I don't crash it, those of you who out there at the field or other planes, I ah, save, that's an easy, yeah, you're not paying for my plane. And those of you who, who want to use safe, I mean, remember, I started with safe. Safe is what enabled me to fly all these planes. I can fly everything, including this, with no safe, no gyro, all day long. But I can't control everything out there. If I get a sudden gust of wind or some sort of interference or something, if I can flip a switch and save my plane, I'm going to do it. Because the people who complain about safe aren't paying for your plane. They're not paying for mine. Okay? Yes, safe is a tool like training wheels. You should try to aspire to, get, to, to go without it. And the only reason I promote learning to fly a plane without safe is because it opens up a whole new world of planes and other possibilities of you scratch building a plane and, and you know, because there's not always, a, you're not always going to be able to afford ex, the expensive gyro receivers that will adapt the plane and give it safe and everything. Not everybody can afford that, okay? So that's my rant on safe. I just say, use it as a tool, get away from it whenever you're comfortable. But if you can keep it just in case, hey, it's a smart thing to do. All right, like I said, I'm just going to follow the receiver or the, the manual on setup. Uh, more than likely, I have an NX10, so yeah, I'm gonna go to system, uh, one, wing, one aileron, one flat, because you got a model Y. Uh, I'm gonna put, this doesn't require, um, does require a little bit of down envelope, elevator with a flat mix. Uh, obviously with flaps up, it doesn't, but with flaps, landing or takeoff flaps, 20% down elevator. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Um, it doesn't say anything about uh, down elevator. Just your, just 20% for takeoff flaps and 20% 100% down for uh, landing flaps. There's nothing about a mix. So uh, there are several planes that don't require mixes. All right, let's get her bound up, and we'll be right back. And, and this will be a separate video. Thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. This is the Falk Wolf, the Flight Falk Wolf 190A. Hopefully the wind will and the weather will let me fly this plane someday. I've got like six planes I need a maiden on, but hey, you know, when they're expensive planes, I want a good calm day. I don't want to go out in 15 mile an hour winds and say, hey, look, I maiden did. Hey, look, it's in the ground. Hey, look, I'm out the money now. <laughs> All right, folks, y'all have a good one. Don't forget, faith, family, friends, and then planes. Bye-bye. Okay, Fat Guy Flies RC here. We got the uh, Falk Wolf all put together. Look at that spinner. Yeah, I know I'm awfully close, aren't I? Okay, that was stupid. Don't do like Fat Guy does. Um, got her set up with uh, low rates of 70% over 30% expo. Um, high rates of 100% throws over 30% expo, and that's all the way around on all control surfaces. Um, I've got safe set up on a switch here on H, and um, props off. Let me give you a look so you can see what the, you know, for handling purposes, I'm going to take the 
that off of there. I'm going to show you by the book what the um, flaps and the split flaps look like. See that tail light there? Let's see them flaps. Um, hold on, let me go. Let me go to my flap settings so I can show. I can tell you what they are. Okay, so for takeoff flaps, which is what that is, that is down 20%. And then for landing flaps, that is down 100%, believe it or not. But that's more what it looks like. You see that nice landing light. You see the light on there and the uh, light on that into that wing. Let me get my hands out of the... Uh, where the land or the gear are gonna go. Let me show you the gear. Now see, they don't go up automatically. They're up, up and down, kind of kind of slow. Okay. So there you go. And uh, like I say, she's set up by the book exactly the way the manual. The Badly folded manual uh, yeah, it shows. Um, looks good. Good looking model. Uh, tires have a little bit of give. I am going to purchase. There's an option you can purchase the uh, um, a softer tire that will give a little less bounce. That's just for them. It's like 15 bucks. But if you look shock absorbing okay so the idea is that you're this is not when you're going to really need the shock absorber this when you're landing okay and you're at this level here this is when you need the shock absorbing because then you're going to come in now they recommend you land uh, on a tricycle or if you land all three surfaces at once that's not really realistic to me i'm going to i'm going to let my front gear touch first and then my tail but you know that's just me and uh, there you go I cannot wait to fly this bird thank you so much for watching she looks great and some from what everything I've seen she's gonna fly great too 5,000 milliamp 6s is probably is considered the most perfect and you don't have to have a high disc rate just the 30 C is fine all right folks thank you so much for watching don't forget faith family friends is in planes. Bye, y'all. God bless.